guys, for today's Dollar Tree video, instead of doing a haul, we're gonna be doing some organization and we're gonna be using Dollar Tree products to do it. Hopefully, I have enough and I don't need to run to the store and get more. But this closet right here, which I'm hoping is gonna be a super fun closet, is basically the space right outside of the media room. So this is essentially where I want to store board games, movies, just extra things um, that need to find its way basically into storage. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be organizing this. I'm going to open the doors and I'm going to show you what it currently looks like because it's scary. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's a mess. This is literally what I did as soon as I moved in when I was unboxing all the boxes. And the the movie frames, the posters are blocking a lot of it. So the first thing that I do with any space when I'm organizing is I take everything out. And we have it all cleared out so everything is all gone and I also dusted the shelves off camera and now we're ready to install the Dollar Tree organization bins all right so I'm gonna just kind of stack these up here so that I can take a good look at them I'm sweating so excuse my whole appearance I knew I was gonna be sweating so um, yeah, so I chose black because the media room has a modern farmhouse look. I have not revealed this room yet, but I may give you guys a sneak peek at the end just so they can kind of see the progress. But I definitely wanted the closet to, you know, flow with that design aesthetic. So I, I went with black and some white products. I may be rearranging these as um, I put you guys through a speed through of some sort or, or however I end up editing this video, but I don't exactly know, you know, where I want some things to go because I think board games should be somewhat in these like two shelves so that, you know, we can reach them easily, but I'm going to have to take the stickers off of these just so that it looks nicer, cleaner. I mean, even if I turn them around, I would still know myself that the stickers on there and that that would honestly bother me i think i'm gonna add the white to the top i don't know if you saw earlier but i was taking down a bunch of movie boxes they're actually empty because the cds are in a case but i like to keep all the boxes and i think i'm gonna organize the movie boxes into these at the very top shelf And now I have black up there. So, so far it looks really nice. We have some of our leftover products. I want the bigger bins up top just because I feel like this will be the storage area of things that we may not need to co consistently grab for while we're up here. And then these will be in the lower region to store some of the smaller board games like cards and and, and things like that. So um, we're gonna save these for later. I got this for this area as well. I thought that I could store 
um, these this game that I bought off of Amazon, but I'm not ready to reveal that those games yet. But you will you will eventually see them in an Amazon haul. Um, but they I'm going to store them on this unit. So I'm not sure where this one's going to go just yet until I get that those games from Amazon. And then we have some of these that look just like those two. So those are probably going to be floating somewhere down here. And I just grabbed these just because I wasn't quite sure. So these are just going to be maybe some leftover options. Let's just go ahead and begin to fill this area. And then we will be pulling these in as we need them. This is a fun board game edition of organization. Let's go ahead and dive into some of these things. So it's kind of like a haul, if you will, but I've had them for a very long time. Um, these are the things that will be great in these baskets right here, because you can see these are like smaller items. And this is called Love Letters. I actually got it from Amazon. It's a really cool game. I'll link I'll link the games down below, FYI, because I get all of my games from there. This is Apples to Apples, which is a really fun game and I'm sure a lot of you know about that one. This one is called These Cars Will Get You Drunk. Um, it's pretty hilarious. You don't actually have to drink to do this game, but it's really funny. Um, then I have just like a random football. Um, I don't really know if that's gonna go into the bins or not, but it's a floating piece, so we're just gonna leave it there. This is called The Voting Game. This is a very fun game. We play this um, on our family vacations all the time and it's hilarious. Um, we definitely cut up when we play games as a family. This is the classic Uno. I mean, Uno is my daughter's favorite game. It goes with us on vacation every year. This one is called Battle of the Sexes Top List. These are all card games. And again, I'll link them all down below for you. <coughs> Excuse me. You gotta have a regular deck of cards to play some good old solitaire. It's my favorite. I take that on vacation. I play that. This has been one of my daughter's newest faves. We played this last year on vacation. My uncle and his family brought it and my daughter was obsessed. And her and her friends play it all the time now. Um, I think this was in a video for Christmas and it's called Catchphrase Uncensored. I'll also link it down below. You will have the best time. And then we've got the Bananagrams got that game and then we have the original uno the first uno that we've ever owned and i think i even did a video how i stored uno in this dollar tree bin it, this is the same bin you guys from like six seven years ago because we've been taking this with us on vacation every year in this little bin because it goes in the car they'll play this in the car and then that way these don't get lost so that's still the same. And then I have uh, I Love Lucy in here, some trivia stuff. And then I have a uh, Farkle Flip in, in this little um, Dollar Tree organization box as well. So that's what we have going on. And now we're gonna add them to here.
All right, I am finished and I absolutely love it. Listen, you know, it's just an organization space, but I actually really love it because I feel like it's completely functional. I also couldn't believe how many of those took up all of my DVD boxes. Actually, all of them except for I think two. So worked out really well and they're hidden. It looks nice. It doesn't look cluttered. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful, I think. And Dollar Tree products. Like that's just nuts to me. This row is perfection too because with these you can kind of see through them and you're able to kind of see what are in each of the baskets. Didn't plan on that, didn't do that on purpose. It just worked out that way. Um, so I really like that. And then you can see this third row here. And honestly, after this, I think I'm gonna go shopping for some more board games. I don't know, just feeling that itch now. This bottom row has some really random things. You, you see that I pulled in the extra bins of the white and black because the Nerf guns were in a red container and we're not doing red. So it also worked out perfectly. Got the guns in one bin and then the Nerf bullets in the other and a couple of random things in there. Uh, again, that's going to hold these this, these games that I bought off of Amazon, which again, there will be an Amazon haul uh, next week sometime, so look for that. And then that I've had forever, it just has like miscellaneous uh, Wii game stuff, some cheer bands for when my daughter did cheer and was stretching, blah blah blah. Beach themes for decorating, so I'm just going to keep it around. And then that is a witch's hat that my daughter wore to like her first freshman year at college like Halloween so we're just keeping it as a memory and this is kind of where that's going for now but this is the finished space and I think it looks absolutely perfect and again I'm just really excited that I did this all with one dollar products. Here are the extra storage products that I did not end up using so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide them right there at the bottom and we'll leave that out just in case you know I need it to organize and it's there ready for me to use. I really hope that this gave you guys some inspiration to tackle a closet today. Just do one closet if you if you have a space that just needs you know some attention. You don't even have to do like Dollar Tree organization. Just go through things see if you need to keep you know sell whatnot um and now the space is functional now we can actually come in here and there's a rhyme and a reason to to everything and it will make for actually using this closet we haven't even really gone for this because whenever there's just a messy space it just puts it puts me off personally like i, I don't even want to visit it no matter what's inside of it so the fact that it's clean now i feel like we'll come in here and do board game night a lot more. And here is what I'm working with. Dun, 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 dun. There's, yeah, there's just, I have a long way to go. I think in this room, I thought that I would have it all figured out by now, but I don't. But a quick sneak peek, we've got this blanket over here, which I think I, you will see in a vlog, but it is a clue quilt and it's so awesome. I thought it was perfect for the space. And then we've got Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, Return of the Jedi, and the newest member is my daughter's Star Wars. So essentially we agreed that she would have two of her favorite posters and two of mine, but we haven't bought her second one. So for now, I just hung up a third one, which I think is Back to the Future, because I'm going to keep up um, Return of the Jedi and I think Goonies, so I'm going to switch out Indiana Jones with Goonies. But for holidays and stuff, just you wait, subscribe, because we're going to changing these to be matching the holidays for Halloween and Christmas, and it's going to be so, so fun to decorate up in here. Uh, you can just kind of see that there is a green, black, cream farmhouse thing going. I still have yet to figure that space out. And then in the corner, we've got the circle mirror and this plant which I think looks very modern farmhouse. I still need to do curtains for this room. I'm actually not doing curtains in the house, but I am for this room because it's the media room and because you can see the window glare through the TV. So it de desperately needs it in this room. And then I still need to figure out this blanket ladder over here. But overall, this is the sneak peek of what's been, what I've been attempting to put together and and that's it for today's Dollar Tree organization 
video. I hope that you guys again felt inspired. That's why I do all of my videos. I just want to share whatever ideas that I'm doing in my current home and put those out for you guys to just kind of take and do and and maybe have your wheels spinning and give you a, like additional ideas for whatever you need to do with your space. But this is exactly why I love the Dollar Tree store. It honestly sounds like I'm sponsored, but I'm 100% not. Um, not sponsored, not affiliated. I wish um, I just truly love this store. I love doing things on a budget. Why go to the container store in my mind when there are products like that? However, sometimes there are needs to go to store. Stores like the container store for specialty um, storage bins. I mean, I have some of them, but I definitely prefer doing things on a dollar budget. So that's it. That's my organization idea for you guys. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.